Hi there and welcome to this video. I believe this should be a rather exciting video because it's all about the Valve Index Controllers. As you know, I had a big problem with them because they wouldn't click when tilted and the click wouldn't even register. Now, as you know, that's not only my problem. Basically, all of the people that I talked to, they have exactly the same problem and it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty bad. Well, I've sent them in and today, look what happened. I got them back exactly four weeks after I've sent them in, I received this package and in this video, I'm going to try out together with you if they now click and if they now register. So absolutely stay tuned because all of this goodness is coming up. Hi, welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this is your first time here. And if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me and if you appreciate independent reviews, then absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. All right, without further ado, let's do this. Let's open the box and let's check if the Valve Index controllers now would finally click and if they would finally now register at least the click when tilted. So it seems to be a new box, like every, everything looks new. So yeah, also here, can you see that, that sticker? So that's not from me. That seems to be a completely new box. Wow, I'm excited now. Here they are, the new Valve Index controllers. Now forward and clicking. Hmm. Not really. Not really, no. I wouldn't say it's better. Wow. That sucks big time. Wow. So, no. Same thing. Wow, that is disappointing. So, I've been waiting for four weeks for these Valve Index controllers. And I'm getting back ones that also don't click i'm i'm going to look forward to try try out if they register but okay going like clicking down down and tilt well there's a little click there's something but it's not how it's supposed to feel yeah left and right works perfectly wow that is super disappointing valve that is so disappointing i can't i wow i'm really disappointed right now let's go for the other stick then okay the right stick and forward yep clicks down clicks right doesn't click left doesn't click okay so exactly the same is happening Exactly the same thing. Let me do it for the microphone. Up, works, down, works, left, no, right, no. Wow, super, that's super disappointing. So basically they've done nothing. They've done nothing. They've just sent me the same controllers from the same batch that is still faulty. You know what? L let me just say it. It is just bullshit that this is by design. Why should it be by design? that on the right thumbstick you can click forward and down, downwards without a problem. And why should it be that with the left thumbstick you can, on, you can click when tilted to the left and while tilted to the right, but you can't click when tilted forwards. It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. And I think it's, it's, it's really, really, like, really bad problem management from valve that they just say hey that's by design like that you know i'm really pissed right now because i paid lots of money for the valve index which i still think is an amazing headset but really the controllers that you've been working for so long on and that are so expensive 300 euros in europe and i think 280 dollars in the states and the product is not perfect the product is not perfect. They, they, these would be amazing. But I must say, for me, the experience is spoiled 
because of that click. And now I had to wait for four weeks and you're basically you're sending me exactly the same flawed controllers back. Really, I'm really, really unhappy and I can't believe that it's happening. Because especially now, dear Valve, what are you building here now is your reputation for VR hardware, right? So, well, you must get it right. You must get it right now because now your reputation is going to be tarnished by these controllers. Why don't you just say, okay, yes, the first badge indeed did have a problem with the thumbstick, all right? We're fixing the problem and everyone who has this problem, they will simply get a new one or you'll get your ones repaired. But no, what you do is you say nothing, that's a design flaw, and you, you simply hope that it's going to go away. But like this, it's not going to go away. I'm really, really unhappy about this. And I must tell everyone, I must tell all of the VR community in the world, do not buy the Valve Index controllers right now, where they are flawed, where Valve is not acknowledging that they have a problem. Let me just try out if the click at least registers. All right, so I've just not tried if at least the thumbstick would register, even though it doesn't click when I try to click when tilted forwards. And the result is it does not register. So I'm even more unhappy now. So I sent them in four weeks ago because of this problem. I had to wait for four weeks. Now I get in the back and it's exactly the same problem. I'm just so unhappy about this. And you know what? I believe it's a scandal by itself that I have to pay 300 euros for this. But the bigger scandal really is that Valve doesn't even acknowledge that there is a problem. It seems like they're making fun of us consumers, giving them so much money and then there is a problem. There without a doubt is a problem. They don't fix it and they would even not acknowledge this problem. So that is impossible. And you know what? I can clearly tell you, do not buy the Valve Index controllers now. Do not buy them until Valve acknowledges the problem and until they say, yes, there is a problem and we're going to fix it. I believe that at this moment, we all know that Valve is talking BS when they say, hey, it's by design that it shouldn't click. Of course, that doesn't make sense because especially I also have the EV3 version, right? The evaluation version. And for the evaluation version, it clicks fine in all directions. Listen to this. So it does click in all four directions. So why suddenly <laughs> for, for the final version, they would make it so it only clicks in some directions and in other directions, it doesn't click at all. It doesn't make sense. And obviously this is simply BS. So what's next for me and the Valve Index controllers? Well, I will get in touch with the Valve customer service. Again, I will tell them that the new controllers also don't work and I will ask them to send me ones that work, that work perfectly, that can register when tilted and clicked in all directions. And that's exactly what I'm going to ask them for. And I will absolutely keep you updated about the progress here on the channel. Until then, or until Valve finally comes out and acknowledges that there's a problem, I can just tell you again, do not buy the Valve in its controllers this first batch. They are flawed. That's it for this video. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think about the Valve Index controllers and ClickGate? Is it a problem for you as well? Are you going to send them back or did you already get the repaired ones back? Or were you like on the edge of buying them, but now think that you shouldn't buy them? Please do let me know in the comment section below. And that's it. If you have not yet subscribed to MRTV, do so now. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Dear Lord Gaben, just like everyone else, I'm a big fan of Valve and I truly love the software that you've done. I grew up with it and it's a big part of my gaming life. Also, I really appreciate what you've done for VR with Steam VR. But I also understand that this video is not going to make MRTV your favorite VR YouTube channel. And 
That is completely all right because I don't want to be your favorite VR YouTube channel. I want to be the favorite VR YouTube channel of the VR enthusiast. And you know what? I truly hope that you're going to fix your completely flawed crisis management and that you're going to tell the world, yes, there is a problem. We acknowledge this and we're going to fix it so that we, the VR enthusiasts, can in the future trust you and without a problem buy your VR hardware. That's all I got. Bye from Germany.